Hey team, so we're gonna review a couple basic stretches that you can start doing for the low back. A lot of times I get individuals that have tightness to their low back, that at the end of the day, they're starting to get that uncomfortable feeling in the low part of the back. Doesn't shoot down their legs, doesn't cause numbness and tingling into their back, but they're working hard. They're on their feet all day, they're, they're lifting, they're pushing, they're pulling, they're doing activity quite often. And these are individuals that will come to me and say, hey, I just got tightness, what do I do? So here are a couple exercises you could start on that are very easy. They all in incorporate lying down. And you could do them either before you get out of bed. You can do them anytime that your back is starting to get tight. It's really an option for you to do anytime that it's convenient in your day. So for these three, they're all looking to stretch the low part of the back. Again, these are not for individuals that have pain that shoots down their leg or numbness or tingling into their legs. They're mainly for the individuals that just have tightness across the back. So let's get started. You're gonna start on your back. In this position with your knees bent, we call this a hook line position. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep both feet together and legs together and you're just gonna lightly rock side to side. So as you rock side to side, you're gonna feel a pull into the low back. Don't try and push through it. Don't try and push through to where you get discomfort or at a high level stretch. We just wanna aid in mobility to the low back. So again, I'm just lightly going side to side. I'm not holding it. I'm not I'm trying to push my stretch. I'm just lightly going side to side. And we can do this for a couple minutes at a time. This should help loosen up the back favorably and it should be pain-free. This is, this is an exercise that I only get positive feedback from my patients for. So lightly side to side. Another way that we help individuals in, in, in this fashion is we put one leg straight and we bring the other one up, either put our hands on the other side of the knee or we go underneath the leg like so. And we're going to take that and lightly pull and we're gonna pull that up towards our chest. And we're gonna pull until we feel either a light hip stretch or a light low back stretch. This is gonna help rotate the spine itself and this is gonna create some light stretching to the low back. Let's say you have some hip restriction. You can't pull your leg up to this high. Well, because your hands won't fully grab it. You can use a towel and wrap a towel around your leg and then pull with the towel and that will help pull your leg as well. So that's a variation for you. Third one you're gonna do, Third one you're gonna do is to stretch the hamstrings. And the hamstrings also attach to the low part of the pelvis. And this is a great activity that you could do overall, whether you have back pain or not, to start maintaining the mobility that you should have to the spine. So here's an example. Leg goes up, hand goes behind the leg like the previous one. And now all we're gonna do is lightly straighten the knee until you feel a light pull to the leg. Again, we could take a towel and put it around here and hold it here to keep our leg in this position. But we want this leg to be 90 degrees or perpendicular to the ground. So again, from this position, slowly coming up until we feel a light pull. And then we can hold and we can hold that 10, 15, 20 seconds at a time and slowly come back down. So we could do this on the left and the right leg. These are three easy exercises that you could start to do for that tightness to your low back that comes across the low back, doesn't cause numbness and tingling, doesn't cause shooting pain, but there are three great exercises to start maintaining mobility to the back that can help you overall in your day. All right, team, thanks for watching and keep moving forward.